this is a difficult day just knowing how close you were to John and how much you've been through together, but also bittersweet in that you're taking over here right now. Yeah, uh, obviously a lot of emotions, uh, a lot of mixed emotions. Um, you know, I just found out a couple hours ago, so a lot goes through, uh, goes through your mind. Uh, can't help but think about John and the relationship we've, uh, we've had uh, the last 10 years, and uh, those are not great uh, circumstances. Uh, it is an opportunity, but uh, you know, it's gonna take uh, time to settle in, but we have a game to win tonight, so that's where the focus is right now. Did you talk to your, your team today before coming out here and what was sort of your message to them going into this particular game? Yeah, it was exactly it. It's uh, just what I told you. Uh, I think everyone in that room is disappointed. Uh, I think everyone in that room uh, feels responsible. Uh, I think everyone in that room should and can be better. Uh, and that was basically the message. Ray addressed the team. His message was clear as well. And uh, I know he's addressed that with you, uh, you guys. And uh, like I said, it's a quick turnaround. We're playing uh, Vegas tonight, and uh, that's where the focus is right now. I'm gonna go ahead and ask you some lineup things. Um, Mackenzie, will he play tonight? Uh, yes, Mackenzie's playing tonight. And do you have an update on Jack Hughes? Uh, Jack Hughes last time, uh, like I said, everything happened real yeah, fast. But we, we knew he wasn't gonna be ready for tonight, so he's not, he's not in the lineup tonight. And then we'll find out tomorrow about the next game. Yes, um, Ray talked a lot about obviously the underperforming. You echoed it there with the disappointment in the start, but he also used the word opportunity. Just kind of how have you conveyed that message to the guys as well? Yeah, I mean, I think the best way to look at it is uh, maybe the fresh start for, for everybody. Uh, like I said, this, this just happened. Uh, I mean, we're going to meet with some players. Uh, I think everyone in that in that room has been underachieving. So uh, there's going to be opportunities. I mean, opportunities you got to deserve and earn your opportunity, and that's not going to change. I think it's like that for every team and every sport. So uh, that, that's the bottom line. And uh, the type of coach I am, uh, it's the same way. I mean, I've earned everything in life, and I expect players to do the same thing in their with their job and uh, and how they play. So yes, there will be opportunities, but. Uh, at the same time, everyone's going to have to earn those opportunities. Naz, did you know Peter Horacek at all prior to you being here? Yeah, Peter actually, uh, uh, probably like 15, 20 years back when I was playing, he gave me a call and uh, wanted me to sign with uh, uh, his team. And so he was uh, coaching in American Hockey League, so we spoke brief, uh, briefly then. And he's been a pro scout with our team and uh, we're able to mingle uh, here and there. So he's it a great guy. He'll be a great addition to our, to our staff. He's coached 11 years in in the NHL as an assistant, a couple of years as a head coach, so uh, uh, it would be great to have him by my side. Did you, did you talk to John after this announcement was made? Yeah, we spoke uh, briefly. Uh, I think uh, I was in shock, uh, to be honest, uh, And uh, but that, that was uh, very short, and uh, I plan on talking to him uh, uh, when he's ready, uh, and uh, we'll keep that between uh, him and I. And, and did John address the team at all today, or? No. He didn't? for you. I know you, it's a quick quick start with the game tonight, but how do you approach this week? Is there some sort of like assessment period? Will you take guys aside for meetings? Just how do you plan to approach this? Yeah, that's that's one thing, but like I said, I mean, everything's happened so fast. There's two points on the line tonight uh, against Vegas, and I think that the, the main focus is really on tonight's game. Uh, I think there's been a big whirlwind so far in the last two, three hours, so get the, ga the guys in the right frame of mind and try to go out and go out and get two points, and that's where the focus is right now. You may have kind of answered this already, but when you get the call saying, we want you to take over on an interim basis, what kind of go through your head? I know you said you're in shock, but just in that moment, in that challenge. Yeah, I mean, a lot. Uh, I mean, uh, your, your, your life uh, changes. And uh, at first it was a shock. And then uh, Ray was great. Uh, we spoke briefly for a couple minutes and my wife was by my side. And, uh, you know, when you get that phone call, you don't know what to expect. So you go from, you know, you expect the worst. And so we had to sit down and spoke to my wife. And, uh, and this, I mean, it's an opportunity of a lifetime when you sit down and really think about it. There's only 31 of those jobs and I get a chance to, to perform and uh, show what I can do. And, you know, I think anytime an opportunity like this arises, you got to take it. Uh, after talking with Ray, I was appreciative of the faith and, uh, that they're putting in me and the fact that they believe I can, I can help. And, uh, so I think it was a pretty uh, easy decision at that point.